Hi, this is Dr. H.J. Schofield with Schofield Chiropractic Training, um, bringing you your tip of the week. And this is our third part on increasing your cash collections. And today I'm going to go over your presentation, okay? Your financial presentation is really, really important. So you have to practice this, rehearse it. Um, <clears throat> and traditionally what was taught is, is not very effective um, or could, could be much more effective. So typically what people are taught is you try a complicated printout. So you do this big, huge printout. It has all these crazy numbers. It's really, really confusing, really complicating uh, to the patient. So they stall, and they're not sure if they want to do it. And I tried it for a while. I, I, I just, everybody does it. So I was like, well, let me do it. And I was doing it. And actually, my office manager came up to me and goes, this doesn't work. It's way too confusing. Can't you just go back to how you used to do it when it was really simple and handwritten? And that's exactly what we teach um, at Schofield Chiropractor is you want it to be very simple. You want it to be handwritten. Um, a billionaire salesman, or he created a billion, a billion dollar business. I shouldn't say that. He created a billion dollar business, insurance business from nothing. Uh, it was worth hundreds of millions. He said the most powerful sales tool is a pen and paper. That's it. Okay, so we overcomplicate these things and you don't need to do it. So keep it simple, handwritten, and um, traditionally what we do is you want to explain chiropractic and the subluxation at nauseum. Okay, yeah, you want to explain the subluxation briefly and then you want to get into their x-rays, what specifically is going on with them, and the nervous system, of course, briefly at the ROF. But now that's all done and it's time to go over the presentation, okay, and all that needs to be brief and concise. Your workshops, your orientations, those are the times to really educate people on, on chiropractic and subluxation and at the adjustment. You know, you should be educating people every adjustment. So there is a time and place definitely to really get into hardcore education, but the presentation is not it. The financial presentation is not the time. You, you think the, the more educated someone gets, the more they're going to want your service, and that's not the case. I have no idea how my TV works. I have no idea how my car works. I have no idea how a lot of things work that I buy, but I understand exactly how it's going to benefit me. Okay, I know exactly what I want from the car, from the TV, from the computer, and how that's going to benefit me. And that's called motive. And that's what you want to review at the presentation. You want to explain the benefits, review the, the patient's motives, and you should have gotten that at the consultation. And that's what you should spend most of your ROF talking about, is how the patient is going to benefit from what you're doing, not... Oh, here's a subluxation again for the 49th time. No, you explain it briefly on the first visit, you review it briefly on the second visit, and then at the adjustments, then you review the subluxation, and then at your in-office orientations or in-office advanced spine workshops, whatever you want to call them, your out-office workshops, that's when you explain um, the subluxation, the chiropractic again and again and again. But this is not the time for that, okay? And you also want to explain the features all right, what are they, what are the benefits they're going to get? And then what are you going to do to them each time they come in? I don't care if they've been to 100 chiropractors. Definitely, obviously, if they've never been to a chiropractor. But even if they've been to 100, they probably went to 100 bad chiropractors. There aren't very many good ones. And so you've got to explain the features. We're going to adjust you. These are the techniques we're going to do. We're going to do whatever. I do orthospinology. So then I explain that. This is upper cervical technique based on centering the head and the neck. Then we're going to do uh, diversified for the upper and mid-back. What are you going to do to the pelvic? So explain everything you're going to do to them in detail. All the features of what, you're going to, uh, what they're going to get, you explain to them. Okay. So don't try to explain chiropractic again for the 400th time. Explain the benefits and the features of what you're offering. Um, next, a big problem uh, traditionally is they give no options. Okay, it's just per visit each time, boom, or they give, you can pay per visit, or you can pay me $50,000, or whatever. They give some huge number, and that's it. You give these two options, and that's it. And that's just not as effective. All the research on persuasion has shown the most effective number of options is three. Okay, when you start studying marketing, you hear about the power of three, the power of three. And it's three options. People will choose say yes, buy more often when you give them three options than any other number of options. Now, if you're an ice cream store or a pizza store or whatever, then yeah, you want to have whatever, as many options as you possibly have. That's not us, okay? And then another important thing is to always give your ideal recommendation, okay? Lots of times people give what the patient thinks they want or what the patient's interested in. You're not being a doctor, okay? 
So give the patient what you believe based on your experience, your technique, ideally what do they need, and that's what you give them. Okay? And then you give them three options. High pressure, pushy, that's what all the groups have taught for years. And that's not what it's about, okay? You're not trying to push this person. You're not trying to pressure them. You just give them options and you offer them, all right? This is my ideal recommendations. We can do this, this, or that. How would you like to take care of it? Or what would you like to do? Or which works best for you? Or what are you interested in doing? What do you think you want to do? Any of these questions. Which works best for you? What would you like to do? Which option works best for you? Okay, these are just, and then we, there's all this, you know, I've read so many books on sales and closing and they make it, it's just a simple question to ask the person to make a decision. That's all a close is. It's not that big a deal. Um, then you offer and you let them choose. That's it. Okay. And then one really important key is you have to show the totals. When you're going through your presentation, your financial presentation, you give your ideal recommendations, you give three payment options, show the totals. What are the totals of the three different options? When the person sees that number, it's going to make your um, largest discount very, very persuasive. So show the totals, keep it simple, handwritten, explain the benefits and the features, give three options, offer, let them choose. Don't be a pushy, annoying, high-pressure, salesy. Um, just don't be one of those people. Okay, you're better than that. Have some... Have some honor and some integrity and, and trust me you're gonna do you're gonna prosper when you master these fundamentals they work okay they allowed me to grow a practice from nothing to 200 patients a week in 14 weeks in a recession and many other people have used it in from North Carolina to Castle Rock Colorado to Wyoming a lot of young docs out there using it and older docs that are prospering in the modern world so you can do it too uh, you just got to master the fundamentals. Dr. F.J. Schofield with Schofield Chiropractic Training. Keep charging.